tractor's on the front porch singing old familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Looking through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Welcome to Heart of the Home, away from home. The holiday season is the perfect time to leave home. You don't have to travel far. Find a beautiful cabin in Mineral Bluff, Georgia, McKaysville, Georgia, Copper Hill, Fannin County. Jasper, Pickens County, there's so many beautiful cabins available. I'm lucky enough to be five minutes from the interstate and in the middle of nowhere. We're on a beautiful, beautiful creek and we're going to be having friends stop by. I'm learning the simpler things of life. One of the simplest things you can possibly do is take a recipe that's already easy and make it easier. Now, my recipe for a happy, happy Christmas, what is that noise? What is that noise? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, my goodness. Get I smell around. good cooking going on. Yay. And, uh, hey, come on in, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's a little early, but I understand that you two have a lot to do. Come here, yes. you bring me? Well, you taught me one of the best things in the world. When you're in a pinch, stop by the bakery. So I went by Baby Cakes and... Beautiful yummy. strawberry cake. Yes. Now, Santa, come yes. here and tell me about this. Were y'all in a pinch because she was helping you load the sleigh? Yes. Okay. You should have started earlier, Santa. We had a couple of elves that had a little bit of well, under the weather colds and stuff, and she filled in. And we, I'm so happy to help Santa. You love it. It's the best. But, Santa, I need to talk to you. I've been really good this year. I've been really good. I'm working three jobs. And I'm maintaining my household. Everything about my household is perfect. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 but I am on time for work every day. That's does important. Does that count for anything? Yes, it does. Okay. It's like being okay. on time for school every day. That's right. If they can mm -hmm. be on time, that means a lot. Unlike sometimes, is there a new time in my world called sherry time? Yeah. Sherry time means you're usually 10 minutes late for everything. Uh oh. I'm trying to do better. I'm okay. trying to do better. But you're a jam-packed schedule. I am jam-packed. You know, yes. it's good that you get there 10 minutes late. Yes. And I looked at my two-year-old black widow wagon, and it has 71,000 miles on it. I've covered a lot of ground. Yeah. So I know, like you do, when you started, y'all were a little bit late getting here today because you had a lot of packages to load. You yes. had a lot to do. Yes. You have a schedule that's crazier than mine, but you're going to do it. And you're going to be in every house by Christmas Eve. That's correct. And all the children who've been good. Explain naughty and explain nice. Mm, are you still mm. kind of good to the kids even well, if they've had a little problem? Yeah, once they sit and talk with Santa and tell him what they want for Christmas or have a photo made or just even say, you know, Merry Christmas to Santa, that from that point on until Christmas, the their good days, on. their good days count double their bad days. That's good. So they can erase them pretty quickly. That's good. That's yeah. good. Do you love the twinkle in his eye? I just now, love now them. I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> You, you always wondered about your daddy because you weren't a lot like your daddy. Look at his eyes and look at oh yours. No. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should talk, Angela. <laughs> maybe the reason you have a hang up about Christmas is Santa may have been your dad. <laughs> no, the magic of Christmas. The magic of Christmas. Things and that's happen. what Christmas is all about. The magic of family and children. Yes, absolutely. And, and one of the most magical things you can possibly do is to help other people. And you know how involved I am in that. I mean, mm -hmm. to me, it is the most important thing you can do to give of yourself. Mm -hmm. Particularly this time in this our time. nation's this history, time. there's a lot. There are a lot of things happening mm -hmm. that right. have put hardships on other families, and yes. you may not even be aware of it. That right. your neighbor's going through a hard time. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's well, important. when we found this cabin, and we talk about this, we want to promote this area. The Copper Hill, McKaysville, the, the whole Copper Basin was affected by a horrible flood. And the whole town was underwater. Your shop being one yes, of those. Yes, yes. And today it is vibrant. It is beautiful. The town is full of people. And we want to tell people how to get to us and how to spend time with us. So we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to give you the simplest of all recipes. And then we're going to talk to you a little bit more about the area we want you to come and get to know. We'll be right back, guys. Welcome back. 
We are in the beautiful, beautiful mountains of North Georgia. Now, Angela. Right beside a river. Or right beside the is beautiful it river creek. creek. It's a creek. Yes. Did you and Santa have trouble finding this? No, it was easy. It Santa was easy. knows everywhere. I heard it. I saw he just, his little nose just He switched. has internal GPS, I think. We had GPS does. way before it was popular <laughs> with the cars. Oh, yes. That's exactly yes. right. I wouldn't worry about getting lost with Santa. He no. can get me anywhere. Well, we're going to teach you a, a quick recipe. Angela, tell me the ingredients because we're going to promote products that we sell in our store in here in McKaysville. We are going to use uh, nine cups of cranberry juice, okay. nine cups pineapple juice. Now, I'm going to give you a hint. Um, Sherry Martin will tell you quickly, a recipe is only a beginning. I'm using a bottle. I did not measure it. Mm -hmm. I did not count it. I don't care how many cups are in it. <laughs> because my way of cooking is a recipe is only a beginning. Then we need water, brown sugar. Okay, Angie, can you mix the brown mm -hmm. sugar in the water? And I can tell you, I'm using three quarters of a cup where the recipe called for one cup. I think it might be a little sweet. So oh, that's okay. This is a recipe that's available on the Savannah Zinman bottle. We sell these at Trevor's too here in McKaysville, and I've used this product for about 18 years. Oh yeah. I actually met these folks at a trade show when I was traveling with Kroger. The and praline is the best. The praline like, just to is put on ice cream and coffee. It is awesome. So good. Now Savannah Cinnamon, it says one cup. Now you'll notice how I measure accurately. <laughs> here's a here's a cheater cup. Oh, there you go. That's about a cup. Okay. Don't you love the way? You know, if I was what a bartender, the bartender, Santa might not be able to get to the house <laughs> and he's so sugared up. That's how Rachel Ray does it. Just you now know. Now this is brown sugar and water. Mm-hmm. And you that's go. it. That's and it. And then we just heat Boy, it. Boy, that was easy. Now, yeah. And this is so good. Spiced cranberry punch. Spiced cranberry punch. Angie, yeah. can you take it over there and plug it up? Yeah. And then we're going to assemble some gift bags. You know, Santa, I know you see this every single day. The holidays bring happiness to some, they bring despair to some. That's correct. There are always people who don't have family members nearby, and it's very, very tough. So I have always tried to do a little something for mm -hmm. my elderly neighbors. And one of the things I thought would be neat would a gift bag, just a little tiny. It's not going to cost me much. I'm actually going to bake my Maisel Kemp recipe. A lady brought me this. This is my home ec teacher from 40... Three years ago. Uh oh, now we're her, telling age. My age. Her recipe for Russian tea cakes. But today, because I've been so busy, I stopped at Mercier's Orchard and I picked up some of their apple cookies and she made me some paper towels. They were busy today. They were packed. They're always packed. Yeah. But they're great people. They're great people. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a tangerine and an orange. And I was asking uh, Santa about what apple. he likes to put in stockings as mm -hmm. far as. A healthy treat for the little kids uh -huh. and the big kids. I'll tell you what I put in healthy treats. I okay. like stockings too, Santa. Okay, I hear you. This is my healthy treat. Stop by Mercier's Orchard and pick up some apples, some oranges, some tangerines, and some homemade fudge. Yay! And does, does Fred love fudge? He does. This will be Fred's gift bag. I think it's important to share of yourself. And if you can make fudge, by all means, do it. Fudge is the one thing I have not mastered yet. Well, I can't do it. I have messed up fudge, and all it takes, this is so good, so buttery, so mm -hmm. sweet. We're going to put one piece of fudge, and we're going to put a couple of cookies. And this is what, and then you send the children next door to your elderly neighbor's house, and not only do they see a smile from a child, yeah. they get a treat. Yeah. And how simple is that? That's simple, but I'd like to remind okay. you that a lot of your elderly neighbors will have diabetes. Yes, yes they do. And Mercier's has no sugar added and sugar-free candy. Absolutely. Great. Pies, all kinds of things. Right. Wow. Now, if you're going to do one for a child, let's put a candy apple in, and let's put an orange. Tangerine, an orange, and Santa, may I have an apple, please? Yes, you sure may. Those now, are pretty. this is Aren't the simplest beautiful? thing. So, now, we talked about making caramel apples and making candy apples. I've never done that. Mm -hmm. But I know there are recipes on the boxes in the grocery store. So, it's so, so easy. Mm -hmm. One of the things we're going to do today, you and I love Mama's Sweet Potato Surprise. Yes. Well, yesterday I found this simple, simple recipe that has, and it sounds so good. It's using Savannah cinnamon mm -hmm. and cranberries. And you know, I love cranberries. And all we do is boil the Savannah cinnamon. We're going to boil about a cup of this, and we're going to add... Give or take. Give or take. <laughs> and we're going to add cranberries to this. 
and when it cooks down a little bit, Angela, you are going to scoop out the orange meat, and we're going to use that for ambrosia, and we're just going to let that chill and use it as a condiment beside our dressing. Don't you think that'll be oh, good? Oh, yeah. 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 A little and twist it's on cranberry sauce, something. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yeah. because it's just going to be the fresh cranberries, Yeah, which has to be good for us. And I'm yes. sure, and, and the one cool thing about the Savannah cinnamon, all their recipes are so, so simple. You know, one of the best recipes that we've ever done is the blackberryless cobbler. Oh, absolutely. That you use the crushed pineapple with the blackberry Savannah cinnamon, mm -hmm. and it's... Pecans, butter, and cake mix. And Santa... So good. No blackberries. No blackberries, no. but you would wow. never know it. It is awesome. And you could do it riding through the sky. You the, could. It is that easy. <laughs> yeah. That easy. The crushed pineapple with the blackberry juice on it mm -hmm. takes the consistency in your mouth just like you had a blackberry Absolutely. in your wow. mouth. And it is Absolutely. incredible. I'll have to make you some, Santa. No, all right. And I what would are love we learning that. about the holidays? Don't stress. Don't drive yourself crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, find something really, really special to do with your family, maybe. Maybe take a nice trip instead of buying mm -hmm. a bunch of gifts. Doesn't that make sense? I this year, really I think Tori and I are going to be doing a lot of homemade food gifts. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of purchasing a lot of stuff, we're going right. to And what is it saying? Food. I love to give homemade gifts. Which one of the kids would you like? I know. <laughs> and I only have, well, two kids. The, the girl and the dog. Uh -huh. The grand dog. So. Yes, my grand dog. But grand do you dog. have a hot cocoa? cocoa dispenser in your sleigh? We have to have. It's cold. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. But, but are you, are you, cli the climate, you're used to it though, right? Because you live up there or does it get you a little bit? You still ha enjoy a good cup of hot cocoa uh -huh. anytime. Yeah. 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 Do you like marshmallows? Oh, yeah, yes. we've got to have a marshmallow yeah. in it. That's my favorite, yeah. too. Now, you have to decide whether you want the little miniature marshmallow uh -huh. or the big or marshmallow. Big uh -huh. Yeah, I like the minis. I like the big one. <laughs> we're going we're to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to share one more simple, simple recipe for the holidays. The holidays are upon us. It is time to share of yourself, mm -hmm. and, and you do that better than anybody, Santa. Oh, there the are smiles, many people that do the memories, a lot. And, you and just we, make people smile. I just feel all giddy. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to talk to you about sharing memories and how important that is. So hang around, guys. We'll be right mm -hmm. back. Welcome back. Guys, what a wonderful day. Yes. Ange, Ange, it's got yes. to be simple. It's got to be simple. We promised you a simple, simple recipe. Honey, it doesn't get any simpler than this. I'm going to take some Savannah cinnamon, and this said to do one-third cup. I'm going to do two-thirds because I'm making a double recipe. Mm -hmm. I have to bring this to a bowl. We're going to bring this to a bowl, and then, you know what I'm going to add? It sounds so hard, but maybe I can figure this out. <laughs> I'm going to dump some cranberries in there. Now imagine that. I know. You're getting the hard part of this recipe. Yes. You have to shell out the oranges. Yes. And we're going to do... Now, Ange, you usually cut them with a the little foo-foo. What happened? Uh, well, you know, I have the suit on today. Okay, okay. And I'm having to So you to don't move. work as hard when you're Santa's helper? Come well, on. not with, like, juicy stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm hauling toys and stuff like that. I do okay. good at that. But these oranges are too juicy. Do they smell like Christmas? <laughs> yes, they, they do. They smell like Christmas. Yes. We're going to basically, we've taken Savannah cinnamon, we're going to boil it. We're going to place fresh cranberries in it, bring them to a boil for mm -hmm. two minutes, <coughs> then we're going to just scoop them in the orange shell. Mm -hmm. So you have the, the flavor of the orange and the flavor of the cranberry, and it's just a condiment for your dressing. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? Yeah. There's no sugar in it, no yeah. jelly. A little bit of sugar in Savannah cinnamon, and they do have a low sugar version that mm -hmm. you could use um, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to do that. Well, we want them to see a well, pretty we one. we do. Now, whose recipe was originally we did this way, Mama's? Granny Hazel. Sweet Potato Surprise. Yes. Christmas was not Christmas at our that house without That would be so Mama's. good right now. Oh, honey, well, I happen to have some sweet potatoes <laughs> stuck in here. We're going to use them uh, for a while. This is the juiciest oh, egg on man, orange. it smells wonderful. Yeah. Did these come from Blue Star? Yeah. Well, they are. Whatever time of year it is, this must be perfect for oranges. Mm -hmm. Now you got your little there cup. There you go. Now we save the meat from the orange mm -hmm. to make ambrosia salad, or mm -hmm. just to eat as as just a good breakfast. Oh, and this start one is so day. juicy. I haven't of? seen one like this in a while. These remind me of the ones we picked on the and orchards the as children. The smell is so good. That is amazing. Yeah. Now we're boiling the cinnamon, and then we're gonna add our. You know your mama loves you when you get this job. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's because she wants to spend a lot of time with uh -huh. you. <laughs> Now, I brought the Savannah cinnamon to a boil. This was really, really hard. 
took about 60 seconds. We've got it boiling because it's a small amount. We put the whole cranberries in there mm -hmm. and I did do a double recipe. Woo! This is gonna be something I would enjoy with oatmeal in the morning. <laughs> this is crazy. Did it get all over you? <laughs> and it smells so fantastic. It does smell great. It smells wonderful. You know, the best thing about this recipe is there is nothing to it. You just wouldn't believe the juice that is coming out of these things. It's amazing. This is going to be great. And don't you think it would be good with oatmeal in the morning and maybe some raisin toast? Yes. Sounds good to me. Sounds like well, brunch. Now, what do you think of this location we've chosen today? Oh, my gosh. I saw that big creek out there, and I was just like, oh, my God. This is primo real estate right here. This is fantastic. It's five minutes from the interstate. Can you imagine in the summertime sitting out there with the breeze coming mm -hmm. over the water? Absolutely. It's so nice. Absolutely. And, and, and we, I hear there's fishing in there. There are fish in there. Yeah. Yes. And we are one hour and ten minutes north of Atlanta, so it's so mm -hmm. easy to find. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. There's a little fancier That's one. That's right. Mama taught you to do that. <laughs> Don't you wish Mama were here today? I do. I can't believe She's it's been here. so many years. She's here. Of course she is. She's here in spirit. Yes. She's, she's probably standing over here behind us actually. Mama's, she was never for her But away. she's one of those that you've, you've gotten that, um, you know, recipe is just the beginning because Absolutely. she could come to my house. It was totally amazing. We could have you know, two or three different things from different meals left over in the mm -hmm. fridge, and I hate to waste food, and she was like that too. Mm -hmm. And I would go to work, and she'd say, okay, I'll handle dinner, and I'm like, well, there's not really anything Nothing. to cook new, you know? And I'd come home, and it would be, what have you cooked? It smells so good, and she would take every mm -hmm. leftover I had in the house and make something totally off the wall, and it'd be in the neighborhood of something else, and, and it was delicious. Absolutely. And it'd be totally different. She and it's just like this. I don't know where she came up with this idea, but I'm 57, and I've had this all my life. Mm -hmm. All my life, Mama made this. Yeah. So I don't know if it was her idea. Maybe she got it. She used to love old cookbooks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. came from an old cookbook. I've got some of her old cookbooks. Mm -hmm. that, uh, mm -hmm. Old uh, Good Housekeeping. Oh, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, she would get them at flea markets and stuff. Well, this took about two minutes, and it is ready to go in your orange That's shelf. faster than me. <laughs> Absolutely, but we're just going to let it sit for a minute. And actually, oh, Ange, I wish people could <laughs> smell this. This is what we yeah, need. be popping them in the face. Look at the Christmas color. Do you smell all that? The, oh, it's just like red hot oh, candy. Oh, yeah, and they've popped. So oh, all the juices man. are out there. Now, it does smell like red hot candy. It smells amazing. Yeah. It's, now, let me ask you something. If I had planned ahead, do you know what I would have done to this? What? Added some pineapple. Yes. Added some crushed pineapple. Well, there we could go. add this orange in there. A recipe is only a beginning. Yeah. That is exactly right. Let's do that. We could put this that. meat in here <sighs> that I'm making a mess with. Y'all smell that. That is amazing. Yeah. I that think this would amazing. be good in there. Let's do one plain, and then we'll add some orange meat to this. And you just, and all you have to do is chill this. This is going to be incredible as mm -hmm. a condiment for breakfast or when you have dressing. I have huge chunks of Oh, orange. man. Now, Angie, you know, did you hear us talking about the idea we're going to be helping the USO this year? Yes. If, if you can, guys, find a way to volunteer at any of your local USOs. Um, be sure and give back. It's very, mm -hmm. very important. We know that. We talk about it every single day. This smells like heaven. You know what? It's time to bring Santa back on. Let's take <gasps> a quick break. And when we come back, it's almost time to say goodbye for today. But we want oh. Santa to be here with us. So let's finish these and we'll bring Santa I'm trying. Hey See, around, I told guys. you, your mama loves you when you do this. Yes, we'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. Time flies. I know. I'm so glad y'all stopped by. Santa, thank you for taking the time out of your busy, busy day. I know you're headed back to Copper Hill. Yes, we are. And people can find you there seven days a week. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Yes, we are going to close four days a year. You oh. are amazing. Now, you are amazing. You are on the corner of Tennessee Street. No, we're on the corner of Ocoee and Grand Avenue, or okay. Bridge Street, as it's called in McKaysville. In McKaysville slash Copper Hill. That's correct. There you mm -hmm. go. Thank you for being here with us today. We're going to enjoy. Yes. This, this. Angela, thank you very much. Baby yes. cakes. Baby cakes. Homemade mm -hmm. bread. And, and what did I teach Chicken you? Chicken salad. 
Yummy. Simple, simple, simple. Yes. Call a bakery you trust. Mm -hmm. Rent a cabin from someone that you mm -hmm. know, and and just enjoy. Hang out and what is this called? Chilling time, chilling maybe. Chilling time. Maybe it is chilling Slow time. Slow down and smell the roses. Absolutely. Don't the just pass rush, them by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the holiday rush is going to happen, but you can slow down and enjoy this time you have with yeah. friends and family. Right now, we're going to go to one of my dearest, mm -hmm. dearest friends, the Barker Brothers. You're going to enjoy some music mm -hmm. from them, and we will see you again next week on Heart of the Home. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Go down, Moses. Can't you hear God calling? Go down, Moses, set my people free. God spoke to Moses in a burning bush. The fire of God came down. God said, Moses, take off your shoes. You stand on holy ground. Go down, Moses. Can't you hear God calling thee? Still speaks to us today through the fire that burns within. Only the blood of Jesus can save us from our sin. Oh, thou children, can't you hear God calling me?